I guess we're live. <laughs> Sorry about that. So let's begin. You all know what this podcast is, the Slow Cooked Endangered Frogs podcast, and you know I'm your host, Kong. Uh, Gujasok could not be here with us today. So let's go right directly into the hot seat. This is where each member talks about their highs and lows and uh, pondering about decisions. So for my highs, uh, things currently working really well. Um, I cleaned up the area that I, talk, I was talking about. That no, specifically, that was a couch. Uh, so now you can actually use it as a couch and not in like an extra storage area. So that's good. Uh, sadly, I don't have any pictures. Um, two, I got the transition music for the slides. More on that later. Uh, three, my aunt visited my family and fed us like crazy. So that was a good thing. Four, I saw a nutritionist on Friday. And she said that I brightened up her day. Double awesome. Um, I also got my weight measured, and I got some good info. Uh, some of the lows, however, uh, was that I um, there are still other areas that I haven't gotten around to cleaning. Um, but of course, we didn't determine that yet. We'll get to slowly. Um, I still haven't bought another audio board that allows people to hear the transition music. So, well... I got it finished, but um, yeah, need to save up some money for that one. Uh, three is because my aunt came over here and fed us like crazy. I overate, and um, when I tried to stop eating, I didn't. You know, she um, she kind of like guilted me into eating more. I'll explain that later. And let's see, the nutritionist, uh, the low for that one is she already has a boyfriend. Hmm. Um. Uh, also, another low uh, on uh, the weight measurement is that I might have actually gained a couple more pounds from my aunt having been here and feeding us. So, yeah. Um, two is also, um, the other thing with the nutritionist is that um, I tried to get certain questions answered and I couldn't get them answered. So, uh, some other lows was that Let's see. Um, yeah, I ate a lot and uh, didn't work on my book and business plans. Or, you know, I didn't write my book or work on my business plans for the week. Uh, so I'll talk a bit about those. So let's jump right into the mastermind. Okay, this is the section where everyone debates and discusses or, well since it's only me, I go on rambling. So um, the nutritionist asked me if I wanted to follow up with a meeting, and I said no at the time. I thought out that um, I was you know, good to go, but I probably should have said yes. You know, Maybe by then she'll break up with that guy. I mean, maybe not, but um, I still have some unanswered questions. Um, on the days of cardio, could I eat below the number of calories I burn? If so, by how much? Is there a specific amount or a percentage I can burn before my body goes into starvation mode, uh, where it stores fat and eats away muscle? Uh, one thing I didn't think to ask was optimizing nutrition for the type of exercise. So on the days that I'm doing two to four hours of cardio, should I intake more carbohydrates? On the days where I'm lifting weights, should I eat uh, more protein? Um, you know, what are the best resources for... Uh, you know, both, uh, both forms of exercises. So, I mean, while I kind of do have an idea of what I can do, uh, you know, I can't be sure. And I, I need an expert's confirmation to, to be sure. Um, so the reason why I couldn't get those answered was because uh, when I came in, she asked, oh, so how can I help you? Uh, what do you need from me? So the the ball was in my court to make it clear to her what I needed, and the reason she started with that question, aside from being a customer service standard phrase, is she is, she's also used to seeing people who were referred to her and who needs to be lectured where they never listen. Uh, so I come in here uh, wanting to know and confirm things, which kind of throws her off access. So I should have been more clear with my um, questions. Uh, two, I was expecting her to just kind of bowed off a bunch of stuff, give me a mini lecture on nutrition and uh, exercising more, but, you know, I guess kind of not to overdo it. Now, I understand that uh, 1,600 calories for a male is what's needed to sustain life, or for average males, I should say, 
uh, and, and that's best if you don't exercise at all. So how much should I be eating if I'm exercising on those days that I am exercising cardio? Uh, and how much should I restrict on the days that I'm not? Uh, because using apps like MyFitnessPal only gives you one number to shoot for based on your activity level you gave them, but that changes every day, and you can't customize it per day unless you pay for the app. Uh, so basically, I had to go out on my own and find those measurements and calculators myself. And I'm still looking at, well, I found some resources, but I still need to work on getting the Excel sheet to start calculating those numbers. Um, now, the main point of this is that it, it's part of a larger issue I'm trying to get a grasp on in terms of human dynamics. The reason why I didn't get the answer to my questions was that I wasn't setting up the problem and asking the questions in a proper manner to, for her to answer me. Um, now, this isn't to say that the visit was bad. It was definitely good. I, I had some other questions prepared and even some from friends uh, that gave me their questions to see what I could uh, get answered for them. So my questions were uh, food preservation methods. Uh, in short, it depends on the food. It lasts in different times, uh, and she had no definitive answer. Uh, but basically, when storing vegetables, if it's wet, don't eat it. Um, nutrition in hair. Are foods that help pr promote hair growth, or, um, or are there foods that promote hair growth or hair loss? No, it all depends on your genes. Um, three, uh, I let her know that I'd be taking a nutrition class next year and asked for some tips. She said that there's a bit of everything, um, mainly two, um, two subjects that will help our chemistry and biology. And of course, there's some physiology and other things mixed in as well. Um, and she said that uh, you're going to learn about the five essential things, uh, the, the five things that are essential to your body. And they are carbohydrates, proteins, vitamins, minerals, and water. Now, it was interesting how she left out fats as something essential because there is some support for bacon and certainly uh, fatty foods that help um, guard against fat, uh, not, not fat, but uh, they guard against heart issues. Um, so it's interesting why she left that out. Now, um, T-Vone, our former host of this um, podcast, had a question on uh, brown sugar versus regular sugar. Are there any health benefits over one or the other? Um, she basically said that no, sugar is pretty much sugar. Even if brown sugar is unprocessed, it's still sugar. Um, then he wanted to know about Greek yogurt versus regular. So there are some benefits to Greek yogurt, apparently. Um, Greek yogurt is processed in a way that leaves it with more protein and uh, naturally has less sugar than most yogurts sold in the U.S. Uh, if you want to add Greek yogurt to your diet, you add fruits to sweeten it while increasing your intake of healthy fruits. So that was interesting. Um, Gibson, if you all remember him from my other um, podcast, the Sweat and Money podcast, plug. Um, he wanted to know if she had uh, any nutrition plans. Um, she told me that they, or nutritionists, tend to steer people away from meal plans because a lot of them are impractical and hard to follow. So it's better to use the uh, plate method. Um, but yeah, so let's see, the plate method. Here's an example right here. So a quarter of your plate, which uh, it should be about like, one cup or so of uh, carbohydrates and then the other quarter of your plate should be filled with some sort of protein um and then half of your the rest of the other half of your plate should be filled with vegetables and fruit um so i mean it's it's pretty simple to follow and it's not like it's not too restrictive so people don't get all wound up over certain things. Um, I think this is really good. Um, now, the reason why meal plans are really impractical, at least the ones she pulled up, I mean, it said things like, you know, in a day you should restrict, uh, restrict yourself to eating half of a cheeseburger or a quarter of a cheeseburger. And I mean, who takes a knife and a fork to a cheeseburger and starts carving it up, you know? <laughs> 
yeah. Um, but yeah, I think the plate method is easy. Um, you just need to get around to actually planning out, not so much meal planning, but planning out what you're going to cook. And that's always going to be an issue for most people. So I'm going to work on that, work on that. Um, so some of the ongoing issues I'm still having, still cleaning the apartment, of course, um, still working on my book. I've actually, uh, ever since I saw the nutritionist, I have made some inroads. Same thing with the business plan. Um, uh, ever since this was like a couple of weeks ago, ever since I finished the written part of the business plan, I'm pr- trying to work out the actual numbers. Uh, today, actually, a good thing was that I went around, talked to some commercial real estate agents and tried to get an idea of like leasing prices, maybe from some of their prior clients, what are some of the things that they've seen uh, happen with them? What are some of the things that they have to pay for? Things like that. Um, I'll talk about that next week, actually. So um, other things I'm still working on is uh, working on um, foreign languages, uh, still working on learning one. Health, um, always losing fat, gaining muscle. So uh, one thing towards that end is uh, I got a 50-pound dumbbell, and um, I'm going to implement it into a new workout routine. So let's move on to the high leverage section. Okay. So another goal that I need to set for myself um, I'm going to clean a new section, which is going to be the bookshelf uh, that I have. Um, it's the first thing that you see when you come in, so I'm going to work on that. It looks really messy, and it influences the way people look at the rest of my apartment. So once I fix that, I get it looking nice and trim and proper. Uh, I think uh, that alone will make my apartment look a thousand times better. Um, so there's that. Uh and what else is there? I'm going to start actually measuring my um, my workout results, if it's good or bad, and see what happens. Thus far, I've only been uh, just doing it and not really measuring for any sort of results. So just it's, it's mainly to just get myself in the habit. And I think I've I've gotten that point down. So now it's time to actually, you know, um, measure up and see how I'm doing. So. Da-da-da-da. Yeah, uh, resources. Let's move on to that section. So my resource for the week is not a blank website. Um, it is this thing right here, choosemyplate.gov. So when you first get to it, it's going to ask you for your email address and want you to subscribe, but you don't have to. You can check out the rest of the website. It's what the nutritionist um, was talking about as far as proportioning your foods on a plate. Um, this goes into a lot more detail with that. Uh, this is a Michelle Obama initiative. So, yeah. Um, so that's pretty much it for the resources section. And... Um, With that, I guess I will see you guys next week.